come about over the period of time. And uh, the affairs that I've been to have been invited to to make a presentation. Mm -hmm. The Tuskegee Airmen and what we went through and what we accomplished has made a big difference in the attitude of this country mm -hmm. because it uh, let people know that it's not the color of your skin that makes a difference. It is the person that you are, okay, that makes a difference. That anyone who feels that he wants to accomplish something, prepare for it and do it. And not be denied an opportunity because of his color, okay, or his ethnic background or his religion, okay? And that's what it's all about. The work, it's a, <coughs> the work you do with your displays and your, the, the displays you have here in the library today, you do other, you have other shows and- How about the who? Other showings of your, of your um, memorabilia. <clears throat> well, actually, most of the pictures that is in the lobby, <clears throat> I have my house on the wall of my house, okay? And when people come, I, I show it to them. But <clears throat> I figure that the, the story of the Tuskegee Airmen and their accomplishment and what they had to overcome is so important to all Americans, okay? And I think especially young people, especially young black kids, boys and girls, who know that uh, uh, they have obstacles still in this country, that these can be overcome if you uh, set your sights on what you want to do and pursue it, okay? That's what you have to do. Believe in yourself. Believe that things will be better and, and be prepared for when the opportunity comes, okay? It took six decades, though, yeah. for, the, uh, for the airmen to be honored, right? You received a Congressional Gold Medal, I think it was uh, 2001? No, 2000, I think 2007, I believe. Yeah. Was it 2007? Yeah. So it took all those years to... All those time. years before, before it, it, it dawned upon people the difference that Tuskegee Airmen made in this country, you see. And, and that many of us had gone on to college and whatnot and been very successful in life, okay? Because we prepared and we committed and we did what we did. And it proves that, uh, like Martin Luther King said, not to cover your thin, but the content of your character. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what counts. You see. And uh, I think it's good that uh, a lot of young people who who are, aren't aware of the the trials and tribulation of the Tuskegee Airmen, and and they saw the movie and whatnot. They're not aware, and, and but but now they can become aware, mm -hmm. and and to let people, especially young people, see the Tuskegee Airmen if they can, see who they are, okay, see what they accomplished, how and why, and to make this country certainly a much better country for everybody, mm -hmm. okay, and give give young people some hope. A lot a lot of black youngsters, especially now. Uh, feel despair, I'm black, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do the other thing. But when they, they see that uh, black youngsters did things that weren't permissible, but they did it, we overcome it, okay, we overcame it. And we did what we want to do. They could do the same thing, especially now. And that's important, to see that it's it can accomplish. Important. Yeah, it is important. If they prepare, and, and don't feel so hopeless, etc. I can't do this, I can't, and don't give up. Okay, and and we want to be be an image of people to see that that they can do what they want to do if they apply themselves. Go down the right road really and awesome. and learn how we did it, and and et cetera. And they can do the same thing. The opportunities are there. The opportunities are more opportunities there today than there ever was in my time. But if you're determined to do what you want to do and pursue what you want to be, you can do it.
Believe in yourself. And you get rewards, right? Yeah. Personal and professional. Yeah. So the Street Johnson Street, is that is that for you? No, it's just coincidental. <laughs> <laughs> My father moved there on Johnson Street because 